I'm back with a new video and today I am actually teaming up with CoverGirl, which is so exciting. Um, CoverGirl, thank you so much for working with me on this. I'm going to be showing you a really pretty soft and blushy look for the holidays. If you're going to a holiday party, this is perfect for the occasion, I think. Um, I tried to do something different this year. Um, yeah, just keep watching and we'll get right into it. So first, I'm going to be priming my face using this True Blend face primer. Uh, this one is the Combo Skin, and this is by CoverGirl. Okay, and now I'm going to be putting on the base of my face, um, which is my foundation. I prefer to use my Beauty Blender to blend my foundation on, so that is a big recommendation. Always make sure that you blend your foundation into your neck so that there's not a big difference when you compare your face to your neck. For my concealer, I'm going to be using the Concealer Ready Set Gorgeous by CoverGirl. I'm using it in the shade Medium. And I always put concealer on my eyelids to kind of act as a base for my eyeshadow. I find it works the best for me. Now I'm going to be setting my face with my powder foundation. Okay, now I'm going to go in for my eyebrows. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the contour, highlighter, and blush. That's good for the bronzer and now I'm going to go in with my blush. So for blush, I'm going to be using this True Blend blush by CoverGirl and this is in the shade Medium Rose, I believe. Just applying it lightly to the apples of my cheeks. It's always better to start out going really light and then deciding how much you want to add on. And now I'm going to be using my highlighter. And I'm going to add some to the tip of my nose. Okay, and that is it for my face makeup. And now I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm going to be using this CoverGirl Roses palette. All of the shades have rose undertones and I love it. I have a thing for rose shades. Um, my middle name is Rose, so that's even better. And they are so pigmented, it's ridiculous. For a drugstore makeup brand, um, CoverGirl really does know how to make some eyeshadow. They blend so well into each other and you guys are about to see in just a second, but I really want to show you um, a little swatch of all of the shades. You're about to see how pretty they blend into each other. Here we go. I'm going to walk you guys through a little eye makeup tutorial. So first I'm going to be taking the widest one over here to put it all over my lid and kind of set it. And I find it easier to just do that with my fingertip. I'm going to take a fluffy brush like this one here and I'm going to be taking this color right here and I'm going to be putting that all over um, inside my crease. slightly swipe back and forth, back and forth. And then I'm going to take a little brush that kind of sits at an angle like this. And I'm going to take this color right here. I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my lid. go back with that fluffy brush I was using earlier and just blend, blend, blend. Just so that we don't have any harsh lines. Now I'm going to go in and take this golden color right here. The prettiest one in the palette in my opinion. It's so pretty. I love golden. I'm going to use my finger for this because I'm putting it on my lid. And I'm 
also gonna take the blending brush again and blend, blend, blend. Okay, and that's it for an eyeshadow. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl True Naked Duo uh, little pencil here. There's a brown and a black side, I'm using the brown side today. And I'm going to be lining my waterline and, and the lid. pencil eyeliners because it is really easy to create a soft eyeliner look um, rather than a felt tip eyeliner or something like that it you can just make one little mistake and it sticks out like sore thumb to have like a softer look I really recommend going with a pencil eyeliner so now I'm gonna move on to the mascara which is the funnest part in my opinion and I'm gonna be using the So Lashy by CoverGirl. This is honestly the best drugstore mascara I have ever used and I'm not even joking when I say that. The bristles on this brush really are designed to grab your eyelashes and just pull them apart and not make it look clumpy whatsoever and um, I already have pretty long eyelashes so it's pretty easy to make them look clumpy it will not mess your eyelashes up whatsoever and it works on everyone no matter how your eyelashes are it will work for you and this is awesome if you want to get some bold lashes long and voluminous and if you look at the picture you can see that it's actually built to pull from your lashes you can just use the tip of the brush to grab out little lashes you can have some of those hard to reach lashes and this knows exactly what to do and you guys are about to see what I mean here in a second so here I am using that lash finder tip of the brush to just find all of the lashes and pull them out separately go for the mascara and you guys saw I did not even curl my eyelashes I think that the mascara did a very good job about just pulling my eyelashes apart and not giving me clumpy like Spongebob eyelashes <laughs> because a lot of drugstore mascaras tend to do that to my eyelashes um, but it's not finished yet um, I still have to do my Lipstick. The lipstick I'm going to be using for this look is the Katy Perry edition CoverGirl one and it is in the color Sphinx Sphinx It's such a creamy formula and it's so good feeling on your lips. It feels like a chapstick. Like So that is the completed makeup look and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did enjoy filming it. Thank you again CoverGirl for working with me on this video. I really enjoyed showing people what you do with your makeup these days. Thank you guys so much for watching and I love you so much and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!